we fell to Kilkenny again. Kilkenny, 225, Dublin, a goal and 17 points. A dominant performance by Kilkenny. Dublin were taught a lesson in this game. Two second half goals from Owen Cody put the icing on the cake, but the game was finished as far as I was concerned at halftime. Dublin went in at halftime, 17 points to eight behind. Billy Drennan shot the lights out in the first half. He is an absolute star already, and already he looks like he's one of Kilkenny's main men. Not even that he's a new kid on the block. Park Walsh and Paddy Deegan, I thought, were hugely impressive. They hit two boomers each in the first half. And yeah, Kilkenny just had the game put to bed in the first half. In the second half, when the game was pretty much over, Dublin hit a little burst. Paul Crummy pinched a goal. And Donald Burke is just a fantastic hurler. He's just brilliant. He's absolutely magnificent. And he consistently brings it for Dublin time and time again. But we need more people to step up. And I have to say that, you know, the first game against Waterford, seeing how good Keno Sullivan looked in the full forward line, I was really hoping that he could be that guy. Um, and I hope that he continues to, you know, give that support. But in this game, you know, it really was Donald Burke carrying this Dublin team again. And we need to rectify that going into championship. But we need more threats from other areas of the field. Because for, you know, for teams, it is very much stop Donald Burke, you stop Dublin. And that's pretty much what I'm kind of looking at here and saying, look, we need to rectify this problem in our game right now because Burke is one of the best in the country right now. He just needs a supporting cast. For Kilkenny, a great result under Derek Ling. He definitely looks like he's putting his mould on this team. The fact that the likes of Billy Drennan are coming in and shooting the lights out means that you know we're entering a new era with this Kilkenny side. Owen Cody now is no longer the new kid on the block. He's an established star of this team. And again, Richie Reid, fantastic. It's going to be interesting to see what half-back line he goes with because you've got there the likes of David Blanchfield, Parik Walsh, Paddy Deegan. Like, it's going to be really interesting to see who he actually goes for because then in, in other league games, Killian Buckley's look fantastic. You still have the likes of... Um, sorry, you still have the likes of Parik Walsh. You still have the likes... Even, a, you know, a dark horse like a Niall Brazel, Dara Corcoran, Evan Shefflin. They've got so much talent in the half-back line, Kilkenny. So it'll be interesting to see what three they go with, especially now that there's a spot up for grabs from last year's team with the fact that Michael Carey will not be there. 